Lord. He's hurt him three times in the last He's 60 seconds. Oh, is the new welterweight champion of the world. That was incredible. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 moments in sports that left us speechless. Tapped it out, and it belonged to Minnesota. He kicked the cameraman. He was really upset. Really upset. For this list, we'll be looking at shocking events occurring in or outside of competition involving athletes that had fans shook and absolutely flabbergasted. Which moment here made your jaw drop? Be sure to let us know in the comments. Number 10, Malice at the Palace. Oh, Malice right at our chest. This has potential to be serious if they don't get between. There have been instances of fights breaking out during NBA games, but none like this. Near the end of a game between the Detroit Pistons and Indiana Pacers back in 2004, what started as some pushing and shoving amongst players after an unnecessary foul turned ugly after a beer was thrown at Meta Sandiford Artest. Artest charged at a fan who he thought threw the beer, and before you knew it, several physical altercations took place between players and fans. To witness both professional athletes and spectators stooping so low and behave in such a manner was bad enough at the time, but even rewatching it years later, everyone cannot believe such an incident could have taken place. What a disgraceful showing from the Pistons fans here. Number 9, Michael Jordan's first retirement. I was at peace with that decision. Totally, 100%. You know, I felt. Ready. On October 6, 1993, arguably the biggest and greatest superstar in all sports announced his retirement to the world. Citing a lack of motivation and his belief that he reached the peak of his career, his airness decided to call it quits. Close to 100 cameras from around the world and three times as many reporters. They come from everywhere, from the local weeklies to network news. The press coverage was unparalleled and everyone was in disbelief at how the NBA's most marketable athlete and player as iconic as Jordan could retire in his prime. I just want to be remembered as a guy who enjoyed the game and certainly was, uh, played it at 110 percent every time he stepped on the court. The announcement sent shockwaves across the world and the fact that he would take a shot at playing baseball further fueled everyone's disbelief at the decision. Fortunately, he would return to the NBA on two separate occasions. Number 8. Buster Douglas Knocks Out Mike Tyson This makes Cinderella look like a sad story. Who would you take in a fight? The number 7 boxer in the world at heavyweight or the undisputed, undefeated champion of that division frequently described as the baddest man on the planet? At the time, the answer that seemed obviously correct turned out to be the wrong answer. When Douglas trotted into the ring, there was almost a sense of amusement. We thought he was going to his doom, but he didn't. From the moment the bell rang, Buster Douglas took it to Tyson and picked him apart, before landing a vicious uppercut followed by a flurry of punches that put him down for good in the 10th round. Oh, the uppercut! What an uppercut by Douglas! And down goes Tyson! A 42 to 1 underdog coming into the fight, Douglas pulled off an upset for the ages. Why did you win this fight that nobody on the planet gave you? Mother. Mother. In what way? God bless the heart. Number 7, The Miracle on Ice. 1980 wasn't a particularly bright year for the United States of America. Issues with the economy, a hostage crisis, and growing tensions as a result of the Cold War. The U.S. was going through tough times. The Cold War was in two parts. One was the nuclear arms race. The other part was the Third World, where we were pretty much in competition. That same year, the United States hockey team was set to face the heavily favored Soviet Union at the Winter Olympics. In an exciting and close game, the USA went on to beat the Soviets 4-3. to three. I kept saying, I can't believe we beat the Russians, I can't believe we beat the Russians, and the celebration uh, was incredible. After that game, it, it made you want to hug your television set. I mean, it just made the country feel so much better about itself. Considering the circumstances the country was facing, this underdog story turned out to be so much more and the win gave America a new sense of hope and optimism for the future, and is still remembered today as one of the country's most iconic triumphs in sports. It transcended the sport. It was a national win for the country couldn't have been alive and not feel wonderful about it. Number 6, the O.J. Simpson trial verdict. We considered going with the infamous Bronco chase, but we instead opted for this surreal moment of the trial that took the world to its core. O.J. Simpson, one of the NFL's most marketable and popular athletes, was charged with the murders of his ex-wife Nicole Brown and her friend Ron Goldman. With all evidence pointing to Simpson as the culprit, it seemed like an open and shut case right from the get-go. Only, it wasn't. 
In the end, he was not found guilty and acquitted. We, the jury, in the above entitled action, find the defendant, Orenthal James Simpson, not guilty of the crime of murder in violation of Penal Code Section 187A, a felony upon Nicole Brown Simpson. It was an outcome that no one ever anticipated, and the public was shocked and outraged. The verdict generated outrage and heavy debate, with many questioning the country's judicial system. It was almost like an out-of-body experience. I had a, a feeling of numbness. Did this really happen? Number five, Zinedine Zidane's headbutt. There's what preceded it. Matarazzi just put an arm around him. There was nothing more than an exchange of a few words. Well, what was said, that was ridiculous. Emotions were riding for Zizou, one of the greatest to ever play European football, who was set to play his last game during the World Cup final in 2006. During the match, Zidane was constantly being taunted by Italy's Marco Materazzi. In response, he proceeded to headbutt Materazzi right in the chest. He was immediately handed a red card and sent off. Many couldn't believe the act, in addition to the fact that this was how the French icon would be finishing his career. Although the game went on, everyone was still in utter disbelief. To make matters worse, France went on to lose the game in penalty shootouts. This was probably the last way anybody expected the French team captain's swan song to end. You can't excuse that. Zidane's career ends in disgrace. Number 4. The Death of Dale Earnhardt Sr. During his final lap of the Daytona 500 race in 2001, Dale Earnhardt's car bumped into another vehicle before crashing directly into a wall. Many viewers didn't see anything out of the ordinary that would have deemed the crash as fatal, but worries began to grow when Earnhardt was taken to the hospital. And then we followed, watched the ambulance going to the hospital, and the ambulance was traveling virtually at walking pace, which meant either a broken back or death. Despite receiving medical attention, Earnhardt was later pronounced dead. Somehow, fans say this man in the black number three Chevrolet always seemed to defy the risks of this sport. His death, a reminder to the men who still want to be boys, that NASCAR at 180 miles per hour is not make-believe. To not only witness a death occurring during a race, but to know that Earnhardt's son was also participating in that very same race made this incident all the more tragic. Dale Earnhardt Jr. honored his father's memory a few months later by winning the very first race held at Daytona International Speedway following the tragic event. Here they come, turn four, final lap, Michael Waltrip in second, but it's going to be Dale Earnhardt Jr. using lessons learned from his father to go from sixth to first and score the victory in the Pepsi 400. Number three, the attack on Monica Seles. Yeah, I remember sitting on the bench I was just like thinking uh, to myself, I should change. I'm giving my opponent a little bit of too much what she liked. And then suddenly I just felt like such a hard pain, like a sharp pain in me. It's like, ooh. And then I, I wanted to touch what's in there and I just saw blood. With eight Grand Slam titles to her name and ranked one in the world at the time of this event, this Yugoslavian prodigy was a powerhouse in dominating women's tennis. However, her tennis career would take an unfortunate turn when she was attacked by an assailant with a knife during a match at the Hamburg Open in 1993. Initially, no one had understood what had taken place until Celis fell to the ground. Luckily, the attacker was apprehended. While Celis sustained injuries that were deemed non-life-threatening and she was able to eventually recover, she took a two-year absence from the sport. To witness someone get attacked in such a vicious manner was terrifying and many consider it the darkest chapter in the history of the sport. Number two, Magic Johnson retires and announces he has HIV. Uh, we all went upstairs. He wiped away his tears. Ooh. And told the world. In a career which saw him lead the Los Angeles Lakers to five NBA titles and cement their status as the NBA's hottest attraction, it was truly hard to believe he was hanging up his sneakers back in 1991. To make the announcement, Johnson held a press conference. However, what many didn't know is that Johnson also used the opportunity to tell the entire world he was retiring because he had contracted HIV. Because of uh, the HIV virus that I have attained, uh, I will have to retire from the Lakers. The moment would strike an emotional chord with both Laker fans and fans of the sport as a whole. His premature exit has stunned the basketball world. Gone was a player of unsurpassed talent and popularity. The former Lakers point guard has since become an advocate for HIV AIDS prevention. Although he did make a brief return to the game a few years later, the announcement was a surprise and ultimately a sad day for basketball. But uh, 
I am going to go on, I'm going to beat it, and I'm going to have fun. Okay, so thank you again, and I'll see you soon. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Randy Johnson wrecks a bird. Viewers found out just how lethal his fastball really is. Parachute guy lands in the boxing ring. Yes, it's just as strange as it sounds. Oh dear, oh dear, there's only a parachute is hit the ropes. I do not believe this clown, where he has come from, unreal. The hand of God. The referees allowed a goal that the Argentinian clearly scored with his hand. Took back over the top, and Maradona has scored. Pedro Martinez throws down Don Zimmer. This infamous baseball brawl had a player throw a coach to the ground. Oh my goodness. Don Zimmer and Pedro Martinez. Oh, that's awful. The attack on Nancy Kerrigan. Tanya Harding was so competitive, she arranged for her rival to get attacked. Why? 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 <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Mike Tyson bites a Vander Holyfield's ear. For a guy just to bite you. And I jumped up, not by anger, but it was a disappointment. Mike Tyson was already seen as one of the wildest and most eccentric personalities in boxing, but nothing could prepare anyone for what was about to take place during his rematch against a Vander Holyfield in 1997. During the Sound and the Fury fight, Tyson didn't only bite his opponent's ear once, but twice. It looked as if Tyson bared his teeth at one stage in the exchange. Yes, bit I his think ear. He, he bit his ear. That's what Holyfield was in a lot of pain from that. Everyone couldn't believe that Tyson could resort to such tactics, and he was disqualified from the match for his actions. It is over. Holyfield is leaving the ring. Well, the first fight was a classic. The second fight we were so excited about, but it has ended in the most controversial, sad, and sorry circumstances. Despite his successful career and accomplishments in the sport of boxing, fans and the general public frequently associate Tyson with this very incident. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.